Today we're going to talk about wheel truing stands and uh, specifically the Park truing stands. Uh, this is the Park TS2. Uh, the TS2 was the standard of the bike shop industry for a great many years. And uh, even today, uh, you walk into any bike shop and chances are really good that back in the service department, you're going to see this exact stand, a Park TS2. And uh, at the time that it was uh, designed, it was state of the art. And uh, this one I've had for 20 years, bought it just about 20 years ago now. I've put about 3,000 wheels through it, 3,000 plus. And it continues to function very well. Um, I decided to upgrade to a newer model. And uh, the reasons for that are that uh, it does have a little bit of, or a few shortcomings um, when it comes to dealing with some modern wheels. Now, a lot of the wheels that I deal with now are uh, disc brake through axle wheels. And... Uh, the through axle, I mean, you need some sort of an adapter to mount it in here. And uh, these these park adapters work all right, just like that. And then uh, uh, the problem is that for hubs like this, okay, this is a 190 millimeter fat bike hub. This stand does not open wide enough to accommodate that. And uh, the more common size, the 142 millimeter uh, road bike size, it actually doesn't even open quite far enough to accommodate that. All right, so with uh, the arms fully open and uh, the adapters in there, uh, you still can't quite squeeze that 142 millimeter axle in there. So um, what I do in those cases is I end up using a uh, I end up using a 12 millimeter rod. I just stick the rod in there and and uh, or Put the put the rod through the through axle and then clamp it in between and that works okay but i would prefer to be able to uh, open that wide enough to get a 142 millimeter axle in there now fat bikes <clears throat> were kind of all the rage several years ago and i was building a lot of fat bike wheels and i was able to do that with adapters okay so uh, these adapters you know they fit in there and then you can put that in but the arms are angled out so wide that the rims come really close and you can't put a tire on a fat bike wheel in this stand okay so that's that's just out of the question so um i went shopping for new stands and the park uh the new models of the park include the 2.3 which is an upgraded version of this which does open wider uh allows for more clearance actually i think the arms are, are taller as well and uh it opens wide enough that you can put 142 millimeter um axle in there maybe even a boost i'm not sure about that i'll have to check that out um and then there's the the ts4 which is just gigantic okay you can put anything in there you can put fat bike wheels in there with the tires on and, and everything i mean it's just a huge hunk I actually was thinking about doing the, uh, you know, pulling the trigger on the TS4. Then I had the opportunity to help a fellow out in a in his shop. And he had a TS4, and I thought, you know what, uh, this thing is just way bigger than it needs to be. Uh, I rarely see fat bike wheels anymore. As I said, they were all the rage for a while there, several years back, and I I did build quite a lot of fat bike wheels. Uh, I got by with this stand. It it worked okay. It would have been nice at that point to have the, the TS4, but, but I did get by. So uh, I decided that what I was going to do was um, I was just going to upgrade to the 2.3. And uh, that uh, I think that will serve my purposes. So anyway, here it is. So I'm not going to bore you with an unboxing video, but uh, we'll take it out and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so we've got it out of the box. And we can see already that it's uh, quite a bit taller than the TS2. And uh, uh, the width at the bottom looks about the same. The um, 
Uh, the calipers are quite a bit deeper, so there's there's more room for a, a tire on a rim. So this one was built uh, 13th of December, uh, 2023, and the builder was SB. And my old one was built on uh, the 2nd of February, 04. Oh, get that centered there. 2nd of February, 04 by MC. And I think I read on the park site a while back that MC, I forget what his name was, but uh, I believe he retired. Yeah, so anyway, uh, looking forward to getting that bolted up and giving her a shot. All right, so <laughs> now we've got the, uh, got the arms opened up to full width here and... Uh, just sticking a ruler in there. We're at uh, yeah, or two hundred and ten. So uh, yeah, we can probably get a fat bike hub in there. Yeah, so I uh, open the arms out to the full width, and I can actually fit a hundred and ninety-seven millimeter fat bike hub in there with the. Uh, with the through axle adapters. So, uh, and a fat bike rim should fit in there. So yeah, you can do fat bikes, uh, not with a tire on, but yeah, I think uh, this, this is gonna do everything I need it to do uh, without the huge size and clunkiness of the TS4. So happy with my choice so far. Another little feature this comes with is uh, these little plastic caps for for over the fingers, uh, so you don't have to worry about scratching your carbon rims. Um, I've been using uh, Presta valve caps on my other one because I do a lot of carbon rims. Most of what I do is carbon rims. I think the Presta caps would probably fit on these too. Let's try it and see. Yeah. Kind of hands here. Yeah, so you can still use the Presta caps. It's a good little uh, pro tip hack there. Um, if you uh, do a lot of carbon or painted rims and you don't want to scratch them up, you press the valve cap. It works pretty good. So yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll get this mounted up and get cracking on some builds.